It's cute, right? Look. Oops. Sorry. I'm on light. Sorry. <laughs> Hey guys, oh, welcome back to the channel. I should have fixed this before, right? Sheesh. In the way. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Let me my handy dandy spray real quick. Mm. Got my sage and I've got my cozy linen, like I showed you guys last time. Yo, let's take a minute. Let's take a minute to respect the cozy linen because, oh, it smells so good. If you don't believe me, go try it. It smells amazing. Anyway, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Anata, aka Unapologetically. You see, do you guys notice? Well, <laughs> just just one video from last week. But you guys notice? That's what I'm gonna use my board. Hopefully, I have enough letters, and hopefully, my topics are not too long. But today, yeah, we're gonna talk about unapologetically unjaded. What is it, what does it mean? And yes, of course. It's the title to my book, of course, which we're going to talk about because I told you last time we're going to talk about the book. We have to talk about the book. Unapologetically unjaded, you know, it, it all comes together. It's the whole point. It's the whole point. But no, guys, I'm rambling all over the place. Y'all like my shirt? And I say my shirt because it's literally my shirt. I created it. It, it, it all stems from the unapologetically unjaded. It's cute, right? Look, oops, sorry. I'm on light. Sorry. <laughs> but you like my shirt? We've all kissed a few. And look at this cute little frog. It's a cute shirt. You could dress this down, you could dress this up, you could do whatever you want. Order yours down below. It's cute. Oh, and the back, oh, well, can you see the back? The back says unapologetically unjaded. Can you see? Whew, okay. Let's talk. So, Unapologetically unjaded is literally, let's break it down, it's it's exactly what it says. It's self-explanatory, actually. It's unapologetically, that means you're, unapolog you're unapologetic about how unjaded you are. Um, jaded, we all know is just this jaded thinking like, okay, for, an ex for, an, for instance, jaded thinking is like, oh, niggas ain't shit. Um, I'm just gonna stay single because it is just what, what what's out there. Da, 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 da. I mean, granted, all that might be true. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> Let me stop. Um, but no. The whole point is, no matter what you've been through, I no matter what you've been through, because I've been through some stuff. I should say I pulled myself through some stuff because. Most of the times we put ourselves through stuff, right? Because we can get out, we can, you know, I digress. The whole point is, the whole premise of unapologetically, being unapologetically unjaded, living unapologetically unjaded is, no matter what you've been through, no matter what's happened in your past, what you, you know, endured, what you, it doesn't affect how you are now how you live your life it doesn't dictate how you live your life and it definitely doesn't determine how your future is going to look because it's in the past it's a lesson it's all lessons like it's all lessons um yeah i might have kissed a few frogs but that doesn't mean it's over you know <laughs> my prince charming is out there somewhere you understand like what else? What else? I mean, you tell me, what do you think? What do you think when you, you hear the term unapologetically unjaded? I mean, I'm not going to let it affect me. Why should I let it affect me? Why should I let it affect me? If anything, it should it should make me stronger. It should build me up, you know, like, like okay, I see, I see where I went wrong there. So we're not going to do that again. Yeah, 
And guess what? If you do it again, then boom, <laughs> something else is gonna happen. So we're not gonna do that again. But ultimately, unapologetically unjaded is literally just to keep it positive. Good vibes only. Anything that's negative can be turned into positive. Try me. Try me. Anything that's negative can be turned into positive. You've been through a lot of crap. Okay. Now you know what you don't want to go through again. So you're going to make different choices moving forward. Correct? Correct? I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Let's argue. I mean, to be honest, I don't want to argue. I definitely don't want to argue. This is literally my theory. If you have a different theory, let me know. Tap in. Let me know. But seriously, unapologetically unjaded. And the reason why it came about, it really was stemming from I um, the contents of this book. Order your book, guys. Get your book. It's down below. It's on Amazon. It's um, it's an ebook. If you want it instantly, you can read it. It's an easy read. But in the book, you you read the book, you'll see that I really I really put myself through a lot. You know, I, and I say I like I said I keep saying I put myself through a lot because I don't want to make the mistake and say he put me through a lot because. It's all a choice, remember? Everything's a choice in life. So, but the whole premise of the title, it's like unapologetically unjaded. What loving him taught me about myself. Because that's it. That's the unjaded part. I learned. I loved him. I loved him no matter what. But it wasn't like enough, you know? But in the process... The positive was me learning about myself. We've all kissed a few frogs. But in the end, we're unapologetically unjaded about it because we had to kiss those frogs to, to, to get to where we're going. Guys, it, I mean, like I said, tap in. But, and not only that, the, um, look at it. Look at it, right? Look at the, look at another positive. I just told you about the positive, which was the lessons. Another positive is, did I ever think I was going to write a book? But I was so, like, moved. So, this experience, this, like, lessons, these lessons, I was so, I was, I was moved to write a book because I was so I'm trying to find the right word it was so pivotal it was so pivotal and it created this 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 movement this unapologetically unjaded movement and I love it I love it because um why should I let anything that I've been through affect how I'm gonna move that's not okay that's not fair Okay, let's say Tony didn't treat me right. Why does that affect um, Bobby who wants to come in? Bobby has nothing to do with Tony. So I can't really look at Bobby and, you know, think, well, Tony did this. So, no, you can't, you can't do that. If, you, if you're doing that, then you're... you're right off jump right right off rip you're starting off wrong it's not gonna work it's not gonna work because you're already negative you're already you're going into it negative you're putting all that negativity out there and our words are so powerful so powerful so no so my book unapologetically unjaded the link is down below it's on amazon or it's an ebook but yeah unapologetically unjaded that's how I live and that's how I will continue to live 
because nothing should have the power to rock you in a way that you just want to look at life like I don't want to do this anymore I can't do this anymore this is just too much nothing should rock you that way because life in itself is a beautiful thing life in itself is short we're only here for a time you know and then I, you know this guy I follow this the chef on Instagram I think I want to marry him because he's his cooking is amazing <laughs> I digress sorry um, Mr. Make It Happen he always says in his videos he's like we're here for a, a good time not a long time because why the hell not we're here for a good time not a long time next so guys we're here for a good time not a long time so how can we possibly be having a good time if we're you know negative negative Nancy's we're not so turn that frown upside down keep it positive and yeah be unapologetic about it like oh you thought what you you thought what we went through was going to um affect me no it doesn't if anything it affects me in a positive way because i learned i learned so that's just my little take on unapologetically on jaded i just wanted to give like a little background into the name where it comes from and why it means so much to me because it really is like my way of life and people 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 don't get it it's not for everybody to get it's for me to understand i'm just explaining it to you because you know like i'm not a so you're just gonna be positive all the time why not <laughs> positivity is a choice positivity is my choice i've said this before in my car chronicles so the corner it's nothing different positivity is my choice and I choose to live my life unapologetically unjaded it's a way of life like I said so let's see what messages spirit has for us let's see what messages God has for us let's see what God wants you to remember right in this minute um, don't do this. You know, shuffle. Boom. These are beautiful cards. Look at the moon. And like I said, the messages are. Oh, that one came out. It's actually two of them. I'm going to read both of them. obstacles and detours obstacles are obstacles are detours in the right direction that one the presence of love will always cast out fear now if th if these two messages don't scream unapologetically on jaded i don't know what else is obstacles are detours in the right direction right the presence of love will always cast out fears guys guys these signs and synchronicities like we can't make it up we can't make it up anyway, what am i doing let me put it back where did the box go Stop. anyway guys if you i want to hear in the comments below what are your thoughts about unapologetically unjaded if it resonates with you, it definitely resonates with me. And yes, it's a mouthful, unapologetically unjaded, but it's a way of life. Anyway, peace. <laughs> I swear. It's just like, I don't know. Do you guys look? Do you see my energy? That's my, my um, energy picture. I'll tell you guys more about that later. Anyway, are you guys feeling my corner? It's so cozy. Should I spray it again? No, 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 no spray, no spray it again. Peace again! <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>